Imagine every day living in this house. How would you feel? Damn, bruh, look at this. Where are we? This is hella. This is a palace. I wouldn't buy anything for a grand. That's I just apparel, like but you know, when you make 250K per week. What's up guys, my name is Snoo Jay, and today we are gonna be interviewing a guy named Marcel who makes $250,000 a week. We're over here in Encino, check out his house, and he's gonna drop us some knowledge. Let's go. All right, guys, we are here. Look at this entrance. They got like a party going on. But look at the house, bro. Ooh, and there's the man himself. The man, the myth, the legend. This you? This is your house? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Marcel. How you guys doing? Go ahead. Look at this whip. Thank you, bro. I yeah. love it. Inspired because of you. You're the one that's making 250K per week. <laughs> bro, that's insane. Look at this house. Dude, you already know what I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask for a house tour. Let's go. I'm going to need I'm going to need that. Let's but go. before we get started, real quick. Everyone's probably curious. What do you do for work? Yeah, I'm a success coach to help people change their mindset so they can succeed in their wealth, their health and their relationships. So, if you want to improve in your life, you want to get better, right? I believe it's all mindset. So, yeah. if you change your mindset, change your actions, your actions give you your results. So, I teach people how to think the right way so they can okay. get the results they're looking for. Mm. Yeah. Wait, before we go to the house, let's see the cars. Let's see the cars. All right, so this is my TRX. Okay. So I got it just because I wanted to go jet skiing. I got a couple of jet skis. So uh -huh. I'm jet skiing with some of my friends. And I asked my friends, hey, can you? I didn't have a car to tow it. So my car is a sports car. Yeah. And I'm like, it. So I went and bought a truck. So I don't have a problem again. How many cars do you have? I have five. Okay. They're not all here right now. We got to see this. Oh my. Damn, bruh. I got an AMG GTC. This is my actual dream car in high school. Yeah. And uh, and you got it. Yeah, it's my third one. By the way, guys, it's like 110 degrees over here in LA. It's hella hot. How much does this go for? What's the horsepower? This is 157. I tuned it to have 700. Stock, it's 550. Jeez. All right, y'all. So Marcel went ahead and took out the cars because it looks better out the garage. Wow. So what are we looking at here? Huh? McLaren 720S. 720S. How much does this cost? This is 400. What's the horsepower? 700. Oh, look, I'll be honest with you. Beautiful car, 700 horsepower. Uh, piece of Why? <laughs> it's in the shop most of the time. I've I had hear... it in the shop more than I had it out. And people were saying, hey, don't get a McLaren. It's a piece of shit. I'm like, you, look how good it looks. Look how fast it is. It looks sick. And it's fun as to drive for a day. You drive it once, it's awesome. You drive it twice, it's in the shop. Mm. I've been in fast cars. This thing is insane. Mm. Insane. I could lose everything and get it back, my G. Marcel, you gotta show us the rest of the house, man. Let's There's 10,000 square feet. And this is the grand entrance, huh? One of them. This is where you throw the parties and people come in like, yo, what's good? Oh, oh. damn. Uh, I just put a body kit. Now, this comes to my next question. While we're here, how did you even get started with what you're doing? Because you're making 250 on a bad week. Yeah. That's just like, I can't even fathom that, bro. Like 250K a week? What the f <laughs> hell, bro? Oh, look, I'll tell you this. Every time I've made more money, it was never like this. It was always a jump, right? Every time I changed my mindset, it was boom. Jumping yeah. income, jumping income, jump, like dramatic, like double, triple, like almost overnight. Yeah. I started because I was helping guys in dating and I didn't even think I would make money. I wanted to be a doctor. So you're like a dating coach. Initially, yeah. And then I was helping girls and I was so successful. We were the nerds and all of a sudden we were with like the hottest girls in like high school. And eventually I was in college and I was gonna be a doctor and I said, you know what? Let me go visit my friend. You were in med school? No, I was in pre-med. I was, oh, no, I was oh, in med okay. school. I was about yeah. to no, no, say, no. yeah. No, no, I didn't go that far. Yeah. So I was my second year of college right before I dropped out. And I see my friend get hypnotized to be super confident. He goes up to the hottest girl in like this 400 person auditorium after he got hypnotized on stage. And he spins her around, loses his virginity and ends up dating her for three months. And oh, I was wow. like, that's not my friend. What happened here was unbelievable. Like, what took me years to develop in confidence, he got in five minutes. Yeah. He said, you're confident, it's not his fingers. I said, I'm gonna go learn that. And as I started to learn that, I became more passionate about helping people, not just in dating, but in yeah. every area of their life. Mm -hmm. And then I became obsessed with hypnosis. I saw how powerful it was. I became obsessed with personal development. And as I developed myself, my business grew. And then, you know, my following grew. And it's not like overnight. I've been doing this for- Oh yeah. Long, yeah, this is years of years. But yeah. yeah, we have more questions, but let's continue with the house yeah. tour. Cool, so this is the lobby. Uh, I'll quickly go this side. Okay, yeah, let's get it. So it's kind of like a living room, podcast setup. Okay. I like alpacas. My dad just bought four, so I have an alpaca. Oh, nice. Llama. Okay, okay. Little conference family Gosh, room. Editing. So that's where we edit there you go. Content. The editor, yeah. Marcel. 
What's up, man? Cool, so this is a hungry video? This yeah. is how you make the 250K, huh? I mean, look, just, you see, look how, so each hard drive here is about 12 terabytes. We have about, I don't know, like if we open this, you'll see all the hard drives. Oh stuff. my gosh, Jose, you see that? That's what we need, man. I'll move them back. That's what we need, Jose. It's all content, and it's all full. Like, every single one of these hard drives is completely packed, like the footage, seminars. Would you say a year's worth of content? No, that's mm -hmm. like that's like three, four years. You go over here, I'll show you the movie theater. Oh yeah, let's get it. The movie theater, eh? Yeah. Wait, what is this? So, that's an elevator. Oh, I thought it was a freezer. No, this is an elevator. Oh, what the? Check this out, Jose. These are actually slower numbers, and we actually changed merchants. I had another merchant before. Uh -huh. Bigger, and you get better rates from other merchants because they want your money. Right. So, I was getting, I was paying 5.5%, now I'm paying two. So, yeah. it's like, I'm using Stripe, it's my favorite merchant. And this is all through the internet. Yeah, so this is through, like, people book a call, my sales team, my sales team talk to them, and then they'll get them on a program or something. Okay. Yesterday was 16.3%. Jesus. That's pretty slow. The goal per day cash in should be 30. Okay. This one's a little bit slower. We're moving over. We're going to a new, you know, CRM. I charge people a million dollars a year to work with them one-on-one. -on -one. If they want to join my mastermind, it's uh, the entry level mastermind is 15K for six months. Uh -huh. That's called Breakthrough Accelerator. My higher level mastermind, which is more about, you know, wealth and things like that. It's called Breakthrough Platinum. It's about business. And the entry level for that is 55K a year. So we got the movie theater in here. Mm. So okay. let me ask you this. Yeah. How much do you pay? 40K per month. a month. 40? <laughs> Did you hear that? 40K per month. The rent is 40K. And then water and power, well, is around 6K for water and power and 6K a month for gas. It's around 12K more. It's like 52K and over it. Come over, over here. here. It's the kitchen. We uh, love we it, man. We coaching calls here, so we'll actually have a set of a whiteboard. I see everyone on the TV, mm -hmm. and I talk to them, and I coach them. So I have a whole setup when I coach people here. This house is amazing. Thanks, man. This house is hella sick. Let me show you guys uh, the backyard. Yeah, this, oh yeah, we forgot about that, huh? All right. So the oh, wow. Damn. Bruh, I want to go swimming right now. Yeah, so we call this the lake because it doesn't even look like a pool. You probably throw a lot of parties here, huh? I mean, <laughs> what would, if you were 24, a bachelor, and you lived here? Multi-millionaire. What would you do? <laughs> and by the way, I, I think, don't drink uh, or do drugs ever, never. We didn't mention that, yeah. yeah. Never. So when I party, I'm sober. Explain to the people watching that feel like they need to be under the influence to have yeah. fun. Explain yeah. that. How do you? How do you? The matter know? is, if you're around people who tell you that, that's because they don't actually know how to have fun. Confidence is the number one thing for success, for happiness, for fulfillment in any area. And in order to work on your confidence, you can't rely on alcohol. You can't rely on drugs. When you're feeling bad, that's when you work on the emotion. That's mm -hmm. when you overcome the. You got to feel it. You got to accept it, yeah. right? Yeah. When you're so confident. I mean, look at you, right? When you first started off being confident, were you were you born this way? Like, I wasn't. You have to learn it. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. And it takes practice. And anything you you can't just overnight become unless you get hypnotized. But yeah. you know, assuming you're not gonna get hypnotized, you got to work on it. You got to put yourself in a situation, get uncomfortable, and then over time you get more comfortable, you get more confident. True. Can you hypnotize my? My uh, camera guy, Jose. You want to be hypnotized right now, Jose? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Do you really want to? He's scared. He's scared. He's scared. He's scared. <laughs> There's an outdoor kitchen, barbecue, so the chef will cook there whenever we need stuff outside. Yeah. And I like to actually have, like, we have these tiki things, like flames, so we'll have them actually around us okay. when we're eating, and it just lights up everything and puts an ambiance. We'll have candles on the table. I used to want to leave my house because I didn't like it. It wasn't the right environment. Mm -hmm. Now to me, home is like a sanctuary. If I lived here, I would, <laughs> I'd I mean, be here all the time, office, bro. It's my little resort. Yeah, you know, it's all everything. Up. It's all in one. All right, let's go up here. So this is the second floor. Imagine every day living in this house. How would you feel? This is the laundry room, huh? Yeah, it's the laundry room. Okay. So you're on the laundry now? It's the biggest laundry room I've ever been in. I'll tell you that. <laughs> More fun. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm trying to see the master bedroom though. I'll show you that next. This is my crib. Ooh, yep. You got a living room in here. Tons of paintings. Yeah, this is my house. You know, you gotta love yourself. Yeah. All right, so. Yeah, this is my house. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
No, so this is the closet in here. Come. So everything's color coded. I see that. I had uh, actually my stylist come in here and just style everything. You're like, you're a pretty humble guy, huh? Dude, would you say? <laughs> okay. Okay, how long how long you been following me? You never know what my closet looks like, right? Are you into designer stuff? Or you don't really care. Yeah, I mean, like I'll show you over here. I got Tim's. I got you, you know, got Gucci, some of the Yeezys. Mm -hmm. All my Hawaiian shirts here, and then I have unlimited jackets, like you know, Burberry, Burberry. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you got the Burberry. designer. I like designer. I mean, yeah. it depends on the design. What's your most expensive piece of clothing in here? Probably these jackets, like four grand each. Four, four grand for that? Yeah. Jeez, I would. Me personally. I wouldn't buy anything for a grand. That's I just apparel, like, but you know, when you make 250k per week, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's I don't even, I, to be honest with you, and this is gonna sound really fucked up. I don't get price tag. I just, I'm like, I want that, that, and that. All right, let's go. Here's my card. I don't even know what it is. I, I don't blame see. you, bro. <laughs> I, mean, I can't, I can't spend the money faster than I make it. Like yeah. on average, I make 30k a day. That's my average and profit. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, well, how do I spend the money? I can't even spend it. So I gotta at least get some tax write-offs, clothes, marketing, you know, whatever. True. Yeah. Just uh, buy another McLaren. <laughs> I know the, buy a Lambo. This is custom made from Italy. This is six thousand dollars. Six thousand, okay. Uh, the rest are on average like eighteen hundred, twenty two hundred plus tailoring, you know. So there's money that you can literally yeah, all sell shirts. all this on eBay right now and probably make a, another two hundred fifty grand. My cheapest shirt here is over hundred bucks, and it doesn't look like it, but it's it's a lot. Yeah, you got a retail store in here. I got. <laughs> Hold on, we almost passed up the Rolex, just rotating, huh? I don't really care about watches that much. Like you see, I'm wearing an Apple yeah. watch. Yeah. That's more sentimental because in 2008, my parents lost everything. Mm. My dad had to pawn his Submariner, which is what that is. So I got him and me one the same day. Okay. And it was kind of like, hey, you know, from now on, I'm going to take care of you guys. You guys don't have to worry about it. And that's what that represents to me. That's deep. So, Marcel, you're 24 years old. You're yeah. thriving. Is there anything that you want to share with anyone that's like young, your age or younger? I always say consistency equals outcome. The more consistent you are, the more likely you are to get something. And a lot of people are consistent at doing things that don't get them the result they want. So if you want to be more successful, I would actually, first of all, get into personal development, right? That's okay. one of the biggest things. Learn how to master your mindset. It's the most important thing ever. If you get your mindset down, you got everything down. So I would work on your mindset, work on your confidence, cut out all the drugs, all the friends who are partying, telling you that's the cool thing. Cut that out. If Wasting anyone tells time. you you're too old or too young, ignore them. They don't know what they're talking about. How about too old? There's no such thing. If you see my videos from five, six years ago, my speaking was horrendous. You go see me on stage now, I speak 12 hours a day, four or five days in a row, no breaks, never repeat the same content, and it's engaging as hell. Mm -hmm. People are literally there, focused the entire time. No one leaves, because they don't want to miss a second. Yeah. And that's practice. So I would say, guys, take action, set big goals, big goals. I mean, mm -hmm. the bigger the better, right? Like, I wasn't setting a goal of a quarter million a week. I swear, I didn't even know I'd make that a year. Yeah, that's well, crazy. But as you improve, your goals get bigger, right? You don't just stay in one spot. You don't just, oh, this is my goal now. No, as you make progress, your goals get bigger. By the way, those are fire shoes. Oh, thank you, bro. Yeah, I was, I was wondering that you should probably add this in your collection, you know? <laughs> I, I, there's two shoes I wear. Either Timberlands or Ultra Boost. Those no, are the shoes I wear. I feel it. I feel it. You know, Ultra Boost are so comfortable. Okay, what was like that one moment where it was like your first big check? Like you're like, man. Yeah. I cracked the code. I was making 350 hours a week, and I was getting sushi with my friend Jason. What were you doing, making 350? I was still, I was still coaching. I had a couple clients. Okay. You know, so I was, I was doing this. I get a call from my dad, and I had two dogs, and he goes, both your dogs are dead. They got ran over. Oh no. So I come home and obviously I'm crying and in tears. I'm seeing my dead dogs. I hear my parents crying. At the time, my parents were really struggling financially. Yeah. I said, look at how stressed out they are. My parents are older. My dad's had, you know, at this point, eight heart surgeries. Now he's at nine. Oh, man. My mom's also older. You know, and I'm like, I gotta, I gotta help them somehow. I can't bring yeah. my dogs back. And the pain was so great that the pain or the fear of asking for more money, which is what I had, was so small compared to what I was feeling with my dogs that I said, I'm gonna call my parents. And this sounds crazy. And it really is. No, yeah. But I said, I'm gonna come back home with 40 grand. I went out everywhere. I went to restaurants, clubs, bars. I was out, literally, I didn't sleep for like two days almost. And I made literally 40 grand overnight. I was going into places. I'm like, hey, if you want to change your life, come talk to me. And I didn't get a single client for like eight hours. And finally, someone signed up with me. They like paid me. I'm like, wow, this is possible. And yeah. how much is that sign up? A thousand grand. A thousand. A thousand. Yeah, okay. so I got a thousand bucks per person per session. Wow. I, I was sitting over my dogs, and I remember the interview Tony Robbins had, and he said that he was charging people a thousand dollars a session. He had a six month waiting list. I said, if he could do it, I could do it. So right. I went out there and I, I just did it. 
let's say I make 55,000 a year, so I pay you 15 grand, and what do I get from that? First of all, if you're making 55K a year, usually you probably don't have your own business. Okay. So you're in a fixed income, you have a salary. It's very hard to grow in a fixed income. And at the end of the day, people are scared to leave their jobs because they're like, look, where's my security? And I always tell people, look, save up some money, find out what you want to do, and when you go do it, you got to go all in. But you got to quit your job, you got to go all in. Because if you don't quit your job, you're going to kind of have one foot in, one foot out. And if there's a way out, your brain will take it. Yeah. You got to make sure there's no way out. And once you go all in on something, you're bound to succeed, even if you're staying long enough. Most people give up, and that's why they fail, right? They say, oh look, I lost all my savings, I'm screwed, I'm not gonna make the bills. If you want it bad enough, you'll get it. So what people learn is two things. They learn how to think. Yeah. For example, right now we're in a recession. So everyone's thinking about how they're gonna lose money, they're about to go down, they're focused on the mm -hmm. fact that they need to be more frugal, save their money. Now that's actually the wrong mindset. Because now you're going into the mindset of, okay, wait, I'm gonna lose my money. So you're focused on losing money, that puts you in a negative state, stress state, and all the opportunities that you would have taken advantage of, you may be hesitant on, Yeah. and you're missing out. Now, if you're thinking, okay, this is the time to make more money, it's the time that everyone's going back, I need to double down. That's mm -hmm. what the wealthiest people in the world are doing. They're going harder now than they've ever gone. For sure, yeah. So if you do that, all of a sudden you find that you start to get the same results as them. Don't think like the crowd, think like the top 1%. And the top 1% sure. right now are going all in. See that right there, that's just, he just dropped knowledge for all you guys, mindset. Yeah. Marcel, Thanks we appreciate coming, you. Anytime, man. Hey, it's all love. Hey, look guys, if you wanna check Marcel's stuff out, link in the description below. Is there anything else they should follow you on? Yeah, Instagram. Guys, yeah, Instagram, YouTube, those are my biggest platforms. I also got TikTok. I, jump, I literally dropped so much free content there. If you wanna get hypnotized for confidence, I have it on my YouTube channel, you can click on that link. Check out my YouTube channel. And, it's you know, fun, guys. And uh, let's change your life. Yeah, I got hypnotized, remember that? Remember that video? back then, but yeah, link in the description, check it out. I was only making 50K a month then. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow, and then now you're at 250. Yeah, huh? 5X, two Jesus years. Jesus Christ. Bro. We might have to get into that game, so. Yeah, you got the following, bro. I'm not sure you what to do, you got it, <laughs> We in the matrix, on the glitch. Yeah, build different lake day, I never skip. Yeah, wanna ride a teacher, had a dry stick. Yeah, no money, still her number one pick. I just, mm. Never chase the bads, rest just chase Sam